Welcome to the Binance Futures Grid Trading Strategy Tutorial. Step by step for beginners on how you can create a grid trading bot without any code and profit with price volatility in any asset on Binance Futures. I am How to Buy Bitcoin and let's get started. Just mouse over strategy trading on the Binance Futures page and go to Futures Grid. I will start my own trading bot for science and let's see the results by the end of this video. So just to understand the concept of the neutral grid trading, we will start by the yellow line and we will place sell orders in red here above the price and we will place buy orders in green below the price. So the ideal scenario for us would be if the price moves within this range, it doesn't matter if it goes up, if it goes down, as long as the price is moving between this range, it will be profitable for us. So this would be the ideal scenario for coming back to the yellow line. So the starting point is actually very important. You probably want to make it in the middle of the range so that you give it enough space for the price to move around and you can profit in these little trades. So for example, when the price goes up, we will sell this. So we'll have one short contract and we will place a buy order where the yellow line is. So if the price comes back down, we close a trade with a little profit and over time we do a lot of these little trades and it will be profitable as long as the price keeps moving around these levels. The problem with this strategy is when the price simply moves in one direction very strongly. So we would just accumulate a lot of shorts if it goes up or a lot of longs if the price falls and in this way, we would not be able to close our positions with profit. We would just accumulate a large position that we cannot sell. So that's why we have to put a stop around the upper range and another stop loss below the range. So if the price doesn't move in the direction that we wanted, which is within this range, we can still protect the majority of our money. And if the price is just moving in this range, then it's the perfect scenario for us, especially if it comes back to the yellow line where we started. With this in mind, let's continue. To start your position, you can select the auto, but I prefer to do the manual. So today we will just talk about the neutral one because the long and the short grid trading works a little bit different. Here you can select if you want cross mode or isolated mode. I will leave it in cross, so I'll just click confirm. You can select your leverage. It's a good idea to keep your leverage below 20x. Here you can change, so I will leave it at 18x. Next step, you can choose if you want arithmetic or geometric. I prefer geometric because the price range will always be the same and arithmetic, it can vary. So geometric is the one I chose, but it is up to you. Now you will choose the lower range and the upper range. So I chose here 17,490 as the bottom, which is the lowest low that we got. And the upper range right around here on the chart where I think Bitcoin will range between these levels and we can profit from this movement. So it doesn't matter if the price goes up or if it goes down. If Bitcoin is just moving around and comes around the price that we open this strategy, we will have profit. And now we can select the number of grids. It can be anywhere from 2 to 149. I want 149 because I have a big range and I want to have a lot of buy and sell orders so that we can complete more trades. So the profit per grid in our example will be 0.36%. Now, depending on your leverage, the initial margin can be lowered or increased. So I will just leave here at 219, which is the amount of BUSD I have on my futures account. So the amount per order will be 0.001 Bitcoin. And the total investment, 3,900. Now, this advanced tab is optional. You don't actually have to do it, but I will explain this anyway. So the grid trigger price will be the price that the strategy will start. So you want to make this around the middle of the range, not necessarily exactly in the middle, but around the middle. So I will leave it 23,000 just to show you guys in practice. But if you leave it blank, the strategy will start when you click create. Now, you can also set the stop trigger. You can use mark price or last price. I will just leave it in mark price. And the idea of the stop is that you want to place the stop bottom price just below the lower range. And I will place the stop top price above the higher range. You can also select to cancel all orders on stop and close all positions as well to protect your capital. I do think it's a good idea to have stop and to close the orders and the positions. So I will enable these two options and I will click create. So here you can see all the information. If everything looks good, just click confirm. And now we will wait until the trigger is started. So we have 23,000 
as the trigger and the price is 23,000. So now our grid strategy is born. And look at this beauty. It's a bit crazy here. Let's zoom in a little bit. So on the one hour chart, we can see a little bit better. All the green lines are buy orders and all the red lines are sell orders. So you can see here in the long term chart how it looks. You have the option to take that out from the chart. You can see your open positions as well. So as I explained, the idea is for the price to go up or down. It doesn't matter. As long as the price comes back to the area that we open our position, we will have profitable trades along the way. So it is a sort of passive income if you think about it, but there is risk involved if the price moves very strongly in one direction. You can also adjust margin and the strategy at any time and click view to see details of this grid trading that we just created. It seems like we are getting some price action here. So let's zoom in on the one minute chart and I will show you exactly what will happen. The price is going to the buy order and it will create a sell order. So you see here, we fill the buy order and it just automatically created a sell order slightly above. So when the price goes back up, we will sell this contract that we just bought and we will profit in the meantime. You can have multiple grids at the same time in different assets. If you go to history, you can see all the previous results. So I've been trying out for the past few days. And for example, this was my first grid trading strategy. We opened 10 orders, we matched 10 orders and analyzed rate, it would be 1000%. I did it with just a little money. So you can see the potential here. If you want to see an example of something that went wrong, so this one I made a very tight grid and we did match a lot of orders but in the end we accumulated a lot of orders and the price went below so even though we had profit in the trades we were stopped out because the price moved out of the range so it went below the range that I set we had a 8% loss here and a crazy annualized yield of minus 17,000 percent and that's why I don't like very tight ranges and I put a profit per grid of only 0.1 percent which is probably not the best idea and that's why I'm trying out new things with a small amount of money so that you guys don't have to do the same all for science so this trade was very successful we matched all the trades that we opened we had one percent profit in one day annualized rate of 465%. In the end, it was 1.27% in 24 hours, which is really great if you think about it. Something to note is that you cannot manual trade while you're doing a grid trading strategy. So if we go to the pair that we started this grid trading strategy, manual trading, canceling orders or closing positions of the symbol terminates the grid strategy. So you can look all you want, but you cannot touch. If you still want to do a manual trade on Binance Futures on Bitcoin, you can just use another stable coins. For example, BTC USDT instead of BTC BUSD. So this way you can have both the grid trading strategy working at the same time as you do the manual trades. So I let this bot running for 12 hours and we open our position right around here. 23,000, the price went up a little bit and it crashed down and it doesn't matter, it's even good for us. We bought a lot of contracts and the price started to recover and this is the perfect way to make money with the neutral grid trading strategy. We want volatility and we want the price to recover. It doesn't matter if the price falls or if it goes up, as long as it reverts back to the levels that we opened, it will be a profitable strategy. As long as you have enough margin to not get stopped out. And that's why I set a really, really long range. So as long as the price moves around this range, I will just be making money. It is a really good strategy. If you believe the price will eventually come back at around 23,000. It doesn't have to be exactly 23,000 because we will be making profits along the way. So even if the price goes up slowly or goes down slowly, we will still profit with this grid trading strategy. So for now, we realize profit of 0.34% in just 12 hours. Oh, wow, you made $1, great. But you have to think this in percentage. I've only put here $219. So 0.34% in 12 hours is really good. If you can sustain this for a very long period of time, this is a gold mine. And that's why I'm trying with small amounts first. I will put a lot more money here. And this way I can make passive income with a really smart strategy, not risking too much. So that's the idea behind the neutral grid strategy. So let's view the details of our strategy so far. We have 70 buy orders, 79 sell orders. Quantity per order is predefined by our leverage. Here we can see the number of trades that we started. So we started 13 trades. So we matched 12 trades with profit. 
we still have one open the total match profit was one dollar and remember i just started this 12 hours ago with 219 dollars so in percentage it is quite decent so the annualized yield so far would be 310 percent not bad for a passive income strategy so if you check the grid details everything is working perfectly so of course if the price goes very strongly towards one of my stop prices here so either below 17,400 or above 31,200 this would trigger my stop and I would probably have a loss here there is no such thing as guaranteed income but comparing to manually trading this seems much more beneficial because you don't actually have to spend the whole day watching the charts as you have to do on manual trading and the probability of you making profits is also higher as long as you set a decent range the profit per grid should not be too tight because you will be paying fees as well and also not too big so that you can actually make trades and profit with the price volatility so around 0.36 percent i think it's a good deal it can be a little bit higher a little bit lower depending on your strategy and depending on your price range so this is just my first video about binance futures grid trading strategy i will keep you updated with this position and if it proves profitable over a long period of time i will be making a very big position stay tuned for that if you still don't have a binance futures account 20 percent off your binance trading fees for life plus a 10 percent discount on the binance futures as well for 30 days there's also a welcome bonus of 50 dollars anyway it's all down in the pinned comment as always thank you for watching and i will keep you updated on this grid strategy